Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of Muppet Monster Adventure. I'm Sparjaff and in this part we're going to be going through Grave Mars here. So, yeah, here we are. So, we'll start going now. And, yeah, there's a heart right here, right away. Yeah, search we need it and, oh yeah, need more wives, so... Gonna have to be more careful in this part here, so... Oh, sorry, I have to pause right away because I got to feel something tickling my throat and... Or something. But yeah, but first thing I want to point out here right away is that I think the skybox is exactly the same from the prototype boss fight of Gomzo. So that's interesting. And that boss fight was kind of like set in this level. So it, it would have been like you would have gone to that boss fight first and then come to this level afterwards. So that's really interesting if we think about them also. But let's talk to Pepe here now. Hey, this is Electrifier, okay? Touching this while it's flashing will give you such a shocking shock, okay? Oh, I guess so. Gotta be careful when the alarms go off. Yeah, so I was actually checking out uh, the prototype lately and I don't think these red white these red lights were here. Yeah, so now it's gonna be funny because uh, we're gonna be talking about I don't think you can get one. Gonna be talking about differences in the prototype that I noticed now that we have that out and it's still amazing to me, so... Alright, I just checked, and no, he doesn't have any more dialogue. So, oh, but I don't want to get game over, so I've got to be very careful in this part. Going for this level, but... Yeah, this, this music for this level, it's not really one of my favourites, because it feels more eerie, this level, and it's more of a scary level, and kind of fitting the theme of the game. Oh, okay, so these guys, I think... These are more lighter. Oh no, I've got to not... They, they come at you too quick, it feels. They look more white, have these alive gravestones. Hey, yeah, but I think the whole uh, theme of this game is that this this is all like in Robin's dream. So, oh, the, the floor, you can, there's a crack for. I noticed this kind of thing in Town Square in Sparrow 1, might we? In the prototype. Of my prototype here, Smart Series of Sparrow 1. So, yeah, go and check that out. Check that out as well. I know. Come again, he. Yeah. I always have trouble with these guys. Uh oh. Oh no, I don't want a game over, so. I'll have to save state. Um. For us, so. Maybe I should have, like, grinded wives. I didn't even. I think I was thinking of doing that, but then I didn't do it. Yeah, so we can't get up here now. You have to go, like, all the way around, and. Oh, okay, this explains it. This opens this bit. You can see it, so. Oh, it feels like the field of view is. not. As much here right now. We will go on here for now. And oh, money. Uh... Oh no, that's it. Um, yeah, should I just continue? Maybe I'll just continue and we'll start again. Oh, we just start. We do that. You know, have three wives again. That will help. Um, I think it's like Sparrow where you don't have to quick twelve gems again if you get game over or die. So. We should be all good. Yeah, if we bring up... Yeah, we're still 6% complete, so... Actually, yeah, probably better to do that, actually. That's how we can, uh... Kind of save ourselves. Um... Right, yeah. Oh, actually, I don't need this right now. I, I could just leave it. Oh, but anyway. Oh, we can already... Get the coins in this level. I've got to... Get these more better. Yeah, these are more, like, darker. Um, oh yeah, but it's funny because I was thinking of talking about this, so... Yeah, a couple of parts go, um... And, oh, he already, he already says that. That there is nothing new. But, it's funny because in, I believe it was, the second part, uh, We were doing, uh, the second level, Hallways of Doom. And, uh... Oh, <laughs> just make funny sound effects these enemies. Um, so... Oh, sorry, I heard something. So, uh, now, I'm, now I'm probably going to have to... I said I wasn't going to edit this Let's Play, but I probably am now, and I had to edit the last part a lot. With the boss fight and all that extra stuff extra stuff I wanted to show. Um, but yeah, I was talking about, you know... Oh, you know, the demo. Oh, I, you know, got to check out the demo more again. And that there's more differences in it. And, but now it's like, well, we have full prototypes now. So, it's so funny how that all turned out. Oh, it's kind of awkward though. 
So it's not, not it's like, oh, we can do that and we can just do the prototypes anyway, and they're even earlier than the demo is, so... I think especially the May 4th build. Um... Get Red Stars Give 2 on Skun. Um... So it's kind of similar to Sparrow, but... I mean, Sparrow 2, I think, has had a couple of parts go as well, but... Sparrow 2 is originally going to change the reds to be 2, and green was going to be 1, and... They had the opposite shapes, like... Because I was checking out the earliest Sparrow 2 prototype for a Drakeway as well, and, uh... Yeah, the red gems were going to be, like, triangle-shaped. Like, the two gems are... Um... Yeah, but this, this level is where it gets crazy as well, um... No, no... Oh, I've got another thief, um... Oh, he actually runs around here. Um... Yeah, wait, um, wait, I wonder if you can spin him, actually. Oh, yeah, you can. No. Yes, there we go. Have it. That time you could hear him a bit. Wait, but this, this level is where it starts getting crazy, so, um, with the most sneakiest sneak secrets ever, um, and when I played this level for the first time, I could never find the last evil energy, the stars that were correcting. Uh, oh, he just made it here like that, so, Yes, there you go. Open that now, but yeah, here it is. So, you would never expect to do this, but they actually show this to you themselves. Um, but it's actually hard to get on it, but you're gonna love this, right? If, if people want to, if never played this game before, and you want a like, challenge, then you'll love stuff like this. Um, I, I guess you go right to this from here, but oh, there you go. I, I don't want to fall off again, so I'm gonna save state, but yeah, this, this, uh, this window here, and oh, I failed to get on it, but you actually have to get in here like that. It's, it's invisible. It's, you can go through it, and there's wives in here, <laughs> and the final, like, one star, green star. So, yeah, if you look at it behind here, there's nothing there, but if you look out, and right, if I can change the camera, that would help. Uh, oh, like that, like, yeah. Um... Yeah, but this bit is kind of broken here, but you have to get out. This is, this actually isn't in the prototype. It's worth mentioning, so... Well, I don't think you can even get out of here from here. You can just look in and you think, hmm, that's suspicious. Why is that broken? That's the clue, really, if you look at that it's from, like, over here. Uh, you can see it's quite broken off there, but... Well, you might not even pay attention to that, you might just run through. But yeah, I usually do do that. Um, so, yeah, I'll go, just get the checkpoint again anyway, just because. Um, so yeah, we'll get a few more things here now. But yeah, that's one of the first, like, hidden secrets, and there's more of those, like, coming up. So, yeah, if you're, if you're trying to find things in games, then... I think other people would love that, because I spent ages trying to find that first time I played through them. Um, I had no idea about it, I wasn't spoiled or anything. Well, yes, that's what I was just going to talk about, because in the demo, and if, yeah, I haven't talked about this yet, but, oh, yeah, let's grab it, pull it. Um, yeah, I believe that the, the, those paw prints on that handprint are, are like, um, they'd use the same Prince and Stuart Little 2 as well, um, which came two years after this game. Yes, no life, yes we need all these, thank goodness. For all the secrets. Yeah, okay, but I was going to talk about, um, yeah, in the demo and the prototypes, if you spin and, or if you run and jump at the same time, or do that at the same time, then he gets way more speed and it's so fast, it's, it's way fast, so, it's way too fast, so I'm assuming Developers found out about that and was like, no, let's change that. That's too much. Like, you're going too fast and it might get craziness. And <laughs> I don't know. But I, I, you know, after doing that myself, you know, finding out finding out about that myself, I think that that, that face is of the two old men. I think, I think that's who they're referencing here. Like, who are always on the balcony and the Muppet Show and... Yep, they're always laughing, you know. I don't know, I don't remember their names even, but I know they were always scary to me as well. 
I don't think you can go in here. Oh, that looks like a face on the door handle as well. What the hell? Yeah, no eyes in the mouth, and the, the, this is the nose, and yeah. I don't know if anyone sees it the same way I do as well. But oh no, these guys are actually enemies in this hole now, and they throw stuff. Oh, he throws it like that, but how's that even gonna get me? What? He's not even trying to do anything more. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait to see. No, he doesn't do anything when you're near him. What the hell? Oh. He didn't even, didn't even attack me, though. Okay, that was weird. Um, it was a bit of that, but you have to quiet over to here. Another helmet. Oh, yes. This is um, an empty one. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I know. Um, it's true, a little too. It's kind of similar with like ice cream cones. Um, yeah, but you know, speed run speedrunners would have loved that. Um, like in the prototype version. Like, I guess if people do want to uh, speedrun the prototype version, then you can do that. Oh, this can't be. You can run and jump like this, and it gives you way more speed than it is in this final version of the game. And spinning and jumping as well. Running, spinning, jumping, like, it gives you way more, like, way <laughs> more crazy a speed, and at least I'm getting a few coins here, but, you know, I've, I did, uh, in the last part, assured me getting a few coins, like, all the coins, all the enemies in the first level, but I don't think it's very necessary, to, it's very necessary for me to show that, so I think I'll just get all that off camera when we, um, you know, get every coin for like the gallery stuff. Um, yeah, it's way more lighter here now. Um, yes, I think I will do that by myself. Um, yeah, okay. Give you a bit of time to get to these next platforms, but it gets tricky with this kind of stuff at the end of the level. Uh, oh, try to get me down, zombie. So, um, his, uh, uh, his cane, or I don't know. Wait, can he spin these as well? Oh, yeah, he can. Okay. The little enemies you can also do that. Oh, he just vanished because he's never won. I tried to get him right away there. Oh. Sometimes you don't want to run too fast into the enemies. But yeah, we'll get all this stuff here and get on much up there. Yeah, so this, this level really does look like. Um, yeah, the prototype boss fight, as we yeah, we've been showed in the last part. Uh, also, oh yeah, the the prototype boss fight of uh, Fozzy as well is also different. So I don't know if I'll show sure that. It's kind of similar, but it's the same area, but it's like uh, a bit different how it's done. So I might, I mean, the boss fights are kind of short, so I might as well do it. I don't know, but I don't want to just like do it all the time. I, I think I want to. If I want to do the prototype, I feel like I should do a separate pro uh, playthrough of the game. Um, I don't know though, but you'll have to let me know if you want to see all that. Or... Yeah, because I actually looked up on YouTube and there isn't any, no one's uploaded any footage of uh, the prototype. Apart from me in the last part with the Gonzo fight, because that's the most interesting thing. No, you can't get onto that like that. Um, if this was the prototype, you probably could spin and jump onto that because it, it gives you a bunch of speed. But I'm not, not fully sure on that. But might have to test that more. Um, there we go. So you get to this one first, then you do that. This little block goes up, so now we can get to this part. Um, think about the switches um, as well. They are, you just stand on them, the like, buttons you just stand on, these bats weren't here originally. So that's a cool thing to point out. Um, oh, I wonder if, yes, this is open now by itself here. Um, oh, did that just open it? I don't even know. I'm not even <laughs> fully paying attention, but, um, oh, that's cool. Uh, you know, it's, it's cool, it shows you a total amount of, like, evil energy. There, but I wish I, I would rather it say how many how many you have in the level because it's like we're not using the money to pay anyone like money bags like that's that's the kind of the good thing about so I wanna you know it's um 
I feel it's better if it just shows you the total amount for each level rather than showing your total amount. Um, yeah, I'm oh, 1200 on the top right now, but well, you can see that broken uh, window from here though, so that's good. But yeah, I wasn't really ever suspicious of that when I played this first first time, and I didn't look up how to get it, and I just had to find it myself. Um, as we know, I believe I might have done that because I was looking for ages and. I think I might have walked up a YouTube video in the end. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, Sparrow Skybox has some more detailed, but yeah, I mean, this, this is pretty cool still. Kind of similar to Spooky Swamp or something like that. Um, okay, yeah, we can just go into it. Just glide over the water completely. But yeah, now we've got a puzzle here, so. Yeah, now I've, now I've actually found out uh, he does say something extra if you do it again. If, and he says, oh, you've already got it, you know. But I didn't actually think he would actually do that, but now I know that he does. So I might just do that myself and skip ahead. Oh, oh I don't think you can. Oh, you can get upstairs here. Okay. Even, um, let's see in um, um, yeah, we'll just get all these pumpkins here and... Get all the gems out of them. I mean, I, mean, I, I was just thinking of saying that anyway, but yeah, I know it's stars, but yeah, it's um, stars, but um, it's just like the gems anyway, so I just end up saying that. Yeah, well, now we've got Beak here, so yeah, I guess we'll get him now, and he goes all around, but then he, he just uh, breaks into the door here, yeah. Actually, I get it um, yeah, in the prototype of this. It's just a button here, you stand on that, so Pepe. Uh, no, not Pepe, god damn it. Beaker. <laughs> Wait, did I just call him Pepe as well? Whoops, sorry. Yeah, they hadn't thought of doing that yet. At the time, yeah, Beaker doesn't exist and he doesn't, yeah, fly around. It's, it's just a bunch of switches, so I guess that made more sense that they thought of. Uh, you know, switching it up a lot and um, mixing it up and uh, doing more cool things like, like that. So, yeah, but now I guess I'll do this puzzle now. Uh, okay, well, yeah, this is uh, this is actually a memory game, so... Yeah, I, I, I guess I'll do it now, but you, you spin them. I don't think you can... Uh, now you have to spin all these cold scores here, so... Yeah, let's, let's do it now. So, let's see if I can just do it normally. By myself. Green, blue, yellow, red. Oh, I'll actually show what, what show happens if you do it wrong, though. Oh, too bad. Would you like to try again, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know if you'll say the same thing if you run out of time, though, but... I guess I'll quickly uh, see that right now, though, so... Oh, too bad. Would you like to try again, okay? Okay, so he does say the same thing um, if you just simply run out of time as well. Same thing, just follow the check, though, and try and skip it. Oh, okay, so green... Oh, this is kind of... Yeah, you can kind of slide into the wrong one and might spin the wrong one by accident, that's what I'm afraid of doing. Um, oh, okay, so green, yellow, red, green, blue, and then blue, yeah, okay, great. Uh oh, oh no, that's a bit, oh no, wait, I've forgotten it already, it's, it's too much. Um, no, it was blue next, wasn't it? Oh, whoops, yeah. Memory games get a bit too much for me sometimes, so... Yeah, oh, I probably should just save state on that bit, so I don't have to keep doing the same one again. Oh, wait, it was yellow next, wasn't it? Oh, no. Oh, so, I don't know. Give me, always get me. Even then, like, um, 
you know, um, um, monster thing. This guy on this bowl. So, ah, uh, okay, I'll just, yeah. Yeah, well, make cool sounds though, but yeah, it's this then green again. Yeah, th this is not random, they're all set already. Break the pattern, so. Uh oh. Uh, that's a bit too much. Wait, is it yellow, blue, uh, sorry, red? Yeah. Wait, what's next? Is it red and then green? Yes, I think that's right. Um. Oh no, wait, oh, I thought I had done it. Um, so, um, yeah, I thought I'd just done it then, but I hadn't. So, oh no, 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 it's red next, isn't it? Oh, so, um, uh, yeah, wait. Um, oh god, that's, that's hard to remember, I don't know why. Um, wait, is it green next? Oh. Oh, okay, so, right, it's back to red. And then, then it's yellow green? Is that what it is? Um, yes, there we go, oh, phew, finally. I mean, just do that at the end, just because again. So, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I think he normally says that in other levels as well. So, I'm pretty sure we've been saying that before anyway. But yeah, just just because I have been checking, and yeah, I'll just do this again quickly. And how you save states probably to get through it. And uh, let's see if he says um, anything more that we haven't heard for. So, I'll quickly cut to that right now. You already have this Muppet token, so don't get greedy, okay? Alright, oh, well, that's what he says. I think he hasn't ever said that before, yeah. So, you know, we can continue uh, going this way. Oh, wait, actually, is that bit open? Um, I don't know if I've missed anything so far. Oh, yeah, wait, that is. Wait, actually, maybe we go down there now. Do we? Do we go down that way first? I think, I think we do better have save stated up there just in case. Oh, okay, got to, got to press triangle and swim a square. Oh yeah, this is a big difference. In, uh, in the prototype you can't do this. You, you can't press circle and do a cool spin like that. You can only do this. So good stay uh, at that, that's interesting. Uh oh, we got stopped there because we got all bonus levels, levels but the mum, mummy puppet is gonna get me on. Well, that's really terrifying. Yeah, they remind me of um, the Michelin like um, mascot, like for like a car company um, here in the UK. Uh, so some people might, might know that, but yeah, the, the mummy looks like that. It's like a white white guy, like made out of white tires or, or something. I believe, but I'm not for sure. But yeah, <laughs> kind of looks similar to that. So, um, yeah, that's all we needed to do in here. Wait, but, but yeah, we needed that so we could. Oh, it's a good thing we did come here first. Um, there wasn't a switch or anything here. So, um, oh, sorry, just had to stop that a bit. Um, but, yeah, so it's actually funny. Yeah, I'm gonna have to edit this part a lot. But when I first started this, um, I wasn't really gonna do it, but. Yeah, it shouldn't take me too long to edit that video, so, um, because I was going to treat it more like a live kind of let's play, uh, even though it's recorded, so, um, yeah, because it takes me, it always takes me ages to edit, but you know, I'm willing to put in the work for it and make it all good, if you want, and yeah, hope you enjoy all that, uh, my editing that I put in my video, so, Oh no, he got me. Oh, oh wow. Well, that's the first time we've seen that animation, if you wanted to see that. Um, Alright, so this bit are these. These come in and out. Um, these are pillars, I guess. Oh no, oh, oh. Skeleton. He has bones, so. Um, yeah, but which, which is funny, I, I don't really think that frogs have bones, but wait, I guess they do. And, 
right? <laughs> For some reason, I don't think that, but yeah. You have collected enough evil energy to oh wait, that's weird, because didn't he already say that? Um, yeah, I thought he already, um, I thought he already said that. So that's uh, interesting, but yeah, 100%, so we've done it, we went through the level and so this, this is good because it's more linear towards the end here. So that's good if we've uh, seen everything in that. Oh, so yeah, those are all levels for this uh, world. So yeah, I guess uh, we got everything then. So that's it, and the end of the level is here. So that's great, I didn't miss anything. So yes, uh, yeah, it takes me away from that. I wasn't standing directly in it, I was standing a bit out of it, I guess, but it still took me away. So yeah, I guess that's, that's, that's the level then. So, Grave Matters is done. Um, so the next part, it's going to be Molten Mayhem. So we'll head in now and give you a preview of the level. And that's it for this part. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this part, going through Grave Matters. Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun going through it. So I think uh, I always feel like there's more I wanted to say, but now I don't remember. Um, oh yeah, but cool, we start from here. So this is cool. Uh, yeah, the music for this one is actually very great. So, yeah, really looking, looking forward to doing this level in the next part. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun once again. So, yeah, we really hope you're enjoying this uh, my let's play of my Pokemon's adventure so far. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought. And uh, yeah, um, uh, it was fun once again. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next part. Of so, thanks so much for watching once again. And see you next time for more to mayhem. So see you all next time. Goodbye for now.